for 10 seasons on The Biggest Loser, trainers Bob and Jillian... Nobody stop! Let's go! ...have taken over 200 morbidly obese Americans and turned them into the epitome of health and fitness. But this season, with the biggest cast yet, the efforts will be doubled by adding two new trainers. We got a new crop of trainers right here, ready to kick some ass this year. I hope you guys are up for the challenge. I'm here to teach these people how to fight. Obviously, they gave up the fight at some point, and I'm here to bring it back. Oh. Bob and Jillian are the trainers. How can they have two new trainers? For the first time ever, the contestants will have to make a choice. Train with Bob and Jillian on the ranch. I need warriors! Or train in a secret location with two unknown trainers whose identities were not revealing yet. I'm one of the most qualified and best trainers in the country. This is not a vacation. No, stop it! Fire! Stop it! Stop! Oh, 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 come on! I just can't imagine that two unknown trainers could measure up to Bob and Jillian. The only thing they will know is that they're in for the fight of their lives. <laughs> yes! Show me something! Stand up. Especially the biggest contestant in Biggest Loser history. I'm Arthur Warnham. I'm 34 years old. I'm from Portland, Oregon. This is what I need gone, right here. I'm as big around as I am tall. Actually, I'm bigger. That's a scary thought. Arthur alone weighs 507 pounds. Now, I know you're going to say to me, well, Michael weighed 526 pounds. Michael was over six feet tall. I've got a man standing up there at five feet, eight inches tall, weighing 507 pounds. He is the largest contestant we have ever had in Biggest Loser history. I gotta do something. I'm living on borrowed time. And that's tough. And there's Courtney, who's coming to campus to finish what she started. I got up to my heaviest at 435 pounds. And then I saw The Biggest Loser. And I've been so inspired by the show that I've lost over 100 pounds. I feel like my story's a lot different than a lot of people because my family owns a Dairy Queen. And I made a lot of these cakes back here. And my mom runs a health club. It's just crazy how ironic it is. I'm done with this. I'm 21. I have my entire life ahead of me, and I have to start this now. And for Olympic gold medalist Rulon Gardner, it's an opportunity for a return to glory. It's a shame, it's a tragedy, it's, it's horrifying for me. I want to become the person that, that made me who I was and made me great. train with, their lives will be changed forever. Oh. Oh. How much do you weigh? How many times you ask me that? Here we go, guys. Here we go. Come on. But only one will become the next biggest loser. Walking down the pathway, hand in hand with my daughter, I'm just so excited. This is our chance to learn about ourselves, to know why it is that we got ourselves here, and, and to do it together. My name is Olivia Ward. I'm 34. I currently live in New York City. This is my partner, Hannah, who's also my sister. She lives in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm an opera singer. <laughs> I've played the witch, the mother, the sister, the friend, the old lady. I mean, I've done every sidekick, no to man. 
did the nursemaid Romeo and Juliet. There's a big gag about her butt being as big as the full moon. And of course, I bent over and gave the audience a full moon. And it was funny, but it was hard. I have a big talent. I want to be successful. And I'm the butt joke of the opera. It's really hard. For the first time, I feel like today is here. Tomorrow is gone, but today is here. And I can do this. If, if I'm given the chance, I can do this. Can you believe that we're here? No. <laughs> Hi, my name's Kaylee. I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Shelly, Idaho. And I'm her father, Moses. People on both sides of my family have passed away from the early age of 42 years old to 50. And I am 47 years old. If he doesn't change his life now, he's not going to be around. He's not going to see me get married. He's not going to see his grandchildren. He's not going to see my sister graduate. And I want him there for that. I want him around. I need him around. My name is Dan. I'm from Oklahoma City. I'm 54 years old, and this is my twin brother. Hi, my name is Don. I'm also, of course, 54 years old. Don and I have been cops for 31 years. I'm a lieutenant uh, in the robbery unit. I'm a captain of the operations bureau. Our lifestyle is such that we are, do almost no exercise. I mean, no, certainly almost. no. Well, okay, no exercise. No exercise. <laughs> we do no exercise. As a man, as a husband, as a father, as a police officer, there's absolutely no aspect of our lives that won't be improved by us being on this program. We will we'll be the next biggest loser. I will be the biggest loser. I am totally the next biggest loser. I'm going to be the next biggest loser. <laughs> I'm the biggest loser. No, I'm, I'm the, the biggest, biggest loser. loser. Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> Welcome to the Biggest Loser Gym, everyone. Come on in. Walking into the Biggest Loser Gym, in my mind, I'm playing all these scenes. Oh, I remember this contestant on that treadmill. No, Ashley, no! I remember this contestant on the ladder machine. Come on, go, because you can do it. Just keep moving. <laughs> I remember bloodshed with Jillian on that floor over there. Come on, get it out! In that moment, I keep thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I am going to puke in this place. <laughs> we are here. Walking into the Biggest Loser Gym for the first time, I felt like it was almost a, another arena walking into, but also another path in my life, realizing that a lot of pain, a lot of suffering has happened in there. Go, go, go! All those other participants, all those other people who've lost all the pounds, and now it's my turn to go out there and put my heart and put my blood in there and to see what you can accomplish if you work hard. Welcome, everyone, to the Biggest Loser Gym. Your journey towards a new life begins here. How far you go will be determined by how much time you spend in this building. Make no mistake, you are fighting for your lives. Luckily, you will have some help along the way. Why don't you say hello to two people who need no introduction? <laughs> Bob and Jillian walked in the room. There was almost a, a collective gasp. I mean, it was like some royalty entered the room yeah. or some dignitary. Jennifer? It's like, you know, meeting your heroes. Hi, I'm Don. Tw <laughs> twins. Oh, dear. Oh, this is a Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Courtney. Oh! <laughs> How are you? I'm awesome. You look fantastic. You. When Bob walks up to me, he actually recognizes me from when I met him over a year ago at my heaviest. And he actually said to me, girl, you're going to be on The Biggest Loser one day. And since then, I've been working my butt off to try to get on The Biggest Loser, and I'm here now. Well, Bob, Jillian, it's certainly not the first time this has happened. What's it like for you both to get a response like that? Wow. It's like coming it's home. <laughs> I mean, it is. It's like coming home. This is where we spent so many years, and it's like now we have a whole new batch of kids in the house. <laughs> the very first part of the season is always great because everyone's just so happy. All I can think about is, guys, just wait until your first workout. There's a lot that's going to happen in this room, you guys. A lot's going to happen. It is work. It's a lot of work. All right, everyone. The first step towards a new life begins right here on the Biggest Loser scale.
doors opened and the Biggest Loser scale was revealed, my whole body started shaking. Even though I've seen the scales uh, so many times before on TV, it's nothing like seeing them in person. I actually questioned myself and said, am I, am I really going to be able to do this? I'm looking at those scales and it's frightening. Because now all of America is going to get to see what I've done to myself for the last 15, 20 years. Coming up, the contestants weigh in for the first time. Winning the Olympic gold medal to this is it's horrifying for me. And later, Allie reveals the most shocking twist in Biggest Loser history. This season, there are two new trainers. For your first win. First up, Brown team, Ken, Austin, come on up. Obesity is so prevalent throughout my family. I have nine family members that have had bariatric surgery. And the fact that Austin's the size that he is makes me feel awful. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what happens. It's, it does a lot for relationship building. We, we get really close this way, closer than I think we ever wanted to be, really. Uh, it, it gets to be really So this is, this is what we need help with. We want to be able to sit next to each other, but not like this. Brown team, your starting weight is. Austin, you're starting at 396 pounds. All my life, I've, I've been so used to uh, trying to pass on the blame. Trying to say I was raised in a home that didn't eat healthy. I, I wasn't pushed to play sports. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. You don't pass the blame when you get to 396. How old are you? 20 years old. Bob? We're seeing America's family right now. This is the average American family. It's just, it's sad to see. These mothers and daughters and fathers and sons keep coming into our house, and it's like, is, is no one listening? Is no one out there listening? The families have got to pull together and work together. Because if you don't, I'll be seeing you season 13, 14, or 15. Up next to weigh in is the Aqua team. Marcy, Courtney, come on up. I don't feel like I'm as nervous as everyone else is because I faced my reality of my weight a year ago. Because of The Biggest Loser, I've been inspired to lose over 100 pounds. And it's just, it's honestly a dream come true to me because I know that people's lives are changed on this ranch. Aqua team, your starting weight is. I weighed 323 pounds and I'm 22 years old. Uh, when I was 21, I weighed 435 pounds. So I've lost over 100 pounds in a year. But the bottom line is, I'm still the biggest girl in this room. So I'm very determined to do this. I'm on a mission to change my life, but I have a really long way to go. Courtney, she inspires people. She inspired me to be here and she inspires her friends and her family every day. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna pay it forward. I can promise you that we're gonna pay it forward. This girl has come in and she is driven and she is focused. Courtney is a big threat in this house. Orange team, your starting weight is. Wow. Like mother, like daughter. She is my only child. And my mom has passed, and it's really just us. And I feel so guilty. She should stop blaming herself, because this is me doing it, you know?
can't make my wife, a 26-year-old widow, can't do. Sarah, your starting weight is 261 pounds. So sorry. I'm so sorry, Sarah. I take so much responsibility. I'm so sorry. Two months ago, I lost another pregnancy because of my weight. And that's when my mind changed. That's when I decided that is the last baby I will ever lose because of my weight. My husband and I, we want to start our family. We kept, we kept trying. We tried for two years. All the doctors attributed my miscarriages to my weight. I know that I am supposed to be a mom. I know that. Ladies, good luck. Up next to weigh in, the blue team. Jesse and Art, come on up. People can look at you and know you're big, but when you're this size, they don't necessarily know your real weight. You know, people look at me all the time, oh yeah, you're about 350 pounds. And I'm in my mind, ooh, yeah, no, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> to know that I'm gonna have to be stepping on that scale and revealing my real weight, it's a, it's a scary thing. Jesse. Arthur, your starting weight is. Jesse, Arthur, your starting weight is. Arthur, your starting weight is 507 pounds. You know, some people can look at that and, oh my God. But they may not realize that a year and a half ago, that was 646. It's hard when you lose 150 pounds. And I still got to lose my whole dad. We got nothing but time. We already know you can do it, right, Bob? He's in the right place. You're in the right place. And we're gonna kick this in the butt. You know? Arthur alone weighs 507 pounds. Now, I know you're gonna say to me, well, Michael weighed 526 pounds. Michael was over six feet tall. I've got a man standing up there at five feet, eight inches tall, weighing 507 pounds. He is the largest contestant we have ever had in Biggest Loser history. Up next is the green team. Jen, Jay, your starting weight is. My entire life, I have always chase the number on a scale. I don't know what it's like to be thin. But the one thing I do know, I don't want to quit. And I'm not going to quit until I hit my goal. Well, good luck to your green team. Thank you. Purple team, your starting weight is. I'm done. There's no more excuses. This is my fault. I've done this to myself. I put off tomorrow every week. I say I'm going to start Monday. No more looking for tomorrow. Today is time for change. Great team. Your current weight is. OK, Moses. Your starting weight is 440 pounds. I am Tongan. I know the shell has seen 
the Tongan men that have been here. And uh, they've showed you our culture. They've showed you that food is something that we love, we celebrate. And I realized that, that I need to stop using that as an excuse for the gray team. So we're, we're taking after Sam and Coley. And I remember when they were on, Coley made the, the statement. And I'm going to let you know I'm actually going to do better than Sean and Felipe. I really am. And they did. 230, you lost one. I want America to know <laughs> we're the next biggest loser champions here. <laughs> we're going to beat what they did. There we go. Our first throwdown. <laughs> Thank you, Moses. Thank you, Kaylee. Good luck. Up next is the black team. Dan, Don, come on up. In my mind, I'm thinking this is it. This is the moment we most dreaded. I don't even step on the scales at my own house. And yet I'm going to do it on the most famous place you could step on a scale. Black team, your starting weight is. Have a look, Don. That number doesn't surprise me. I know I'm bad. And I've gotten to a point in my life where I'm tired of being that fat guy. I'm tired of not having a normal life. I have two children, wonderful children, and a wonderful wife. I've been married 33 years. And a couple of months ago, my son, who is so distraught over my obesity, uh, a couple of months ago, he said he don't have anything else to do with me. He won't come around me. I am no longer part of his life. Because he knows I'm going to die, and I never thought I'd have a child of mine telling me that they were disowning me. So that's been my motivation for doing what I'm doing now and knowing that I'm 54 years old, I'm not going to get a lot more chances. Dan? I am motivated by my son, Adam, who uh, died six years ago at 24 years of age. Adam had a, a drug problem for a couple years, and he died of a drug overdose. Um, uh, there's not a day goes by, I don't what if, not a day. I don't know what I could have done. I don't know, I truly don't know, but all I know is that I failed. And I made my best effort. I've been a cop for 30 years and I failed. About a month before he died, we were at a family gathering, and uh, he actually commented to some friends of his, hey, my, my pops lost uh, almost 100 pounds. And I heard it, I was so proud. And then a month later, he passed away, and I gained all of it. Anyway, I'm doing this today because I want to honor the memory of my son because I've let him down by gaining this weight back. And I want to make sure that my daughter is just as proud of me as he was. Thank you, Black. Good luck. Thank you. We have one team left to weigh in. Yellow team, come on up. I've had to get on a lot of scales in my life from you know the Olympics all the way to weigh-ins at small tournaments. But this is an experience that is probably going to have a more profound impact in my life. It's time to kind of own up to the mistakes I've made and uh, the bad habits I've gained. And it's time to show the world what I've become. Yellow team, your starting weight is. When I won the gold medal in 2000, I weighed 286 pounds. And then in 2004, they had cut our weight class from 286 to 265. I was super lean. Yellow team, your starting weight is.
yellow team, your total combined weight is 839 pounds. You are the heaviest team on the ranch. Mulan? You know, being an athlete and, and winning the Olympic gold medal in Greco-Roman wrestling to world champion to Olympic bronze medal to, to this is, is, is a shame, it's a tragedy, it's, it's horrifying for me and my family, and yeah, my beautiful wife. Bob, are you surprised to discover someone who was so successful in sport? No, absolutely not. It doesn't surprise me at all that when you go so extreme, you'll go so far to the other side. He makes perfect sense to me. I mean, he's an Olympic gold medalist. He knows how to do anything that he puts his mind to. I'm in just awe of that. And the fact that you're standing there at 474 pounds in the Biggest Loser house, it's like, you've got so much to learn. Justin, before we even rolled those numbers, I could see so much emotion going on. What, what was that about? There was a day last year when I sat in my house and I started watching the show. The first guy pulls off his shirt and he stood up there. <laughs> I judged him. I'm like, good, go, look at that, how big he is. And he weighed 302 pounds, 302 pounds, 365. And I'm looking down at myself, I'm like, oh. And I started to ball. I didn't used to be a baby. I know you wouldn't believe that. <laughs> but I'm emotional because I'm going to take it and I'm going to do something about it from here on out. I'm going to be a dad that my kids aren't ashamed of, and I'm going to be a husband that my wife's not ashamed of, and I'm going to be a citizen that people are proud of. Good luck, Yellow Team. Well, clearly, you all have a long, tough journey ahead of you. That first workout is the most brutal experience you can put your body through, and I'm sure Bob and Jillian cannot wait to get their hands on you. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, unfortunately, they never learn. <laughs> it's going to be a long wait. You are not working out tonight. Instead, you will compete in your very first challenge. First thing in my head is one, maybe two teams are going home. I seen season nine where two teams didn't make it into the house. And whatever this challenge is, we can't go home. So Bob, Jillian, we'll see you tomorrow. Have fun tonight. So we walk out of the way in and you can already tell like the air's so thick everyone's kind of had this moment of, okay, what's about to happen? The first thing in our minds is someone's going home. It, it's the biggest loser, expecting unexpected. I just feel like somebody can go home. Welcome everyone to your very first challenge. I hope you enjoyed getting the opportunity to meet Bob and Jillian this afternoon because tonight's challenge will determine who your trainer will be. I'm relieved. In my mind, okay, no one's going home. If we're just playing with for trainers, you can't win or lose. You know, Bob and Jillian are both great. Well, together, Bob and Jillian have helped our contestants lose 25,000 pounds on the Biggest Loser scale. But tonight, change is in the air. Because if you thought you were choosing between Bob and Jillian, you'd be dead wrong. You will choose either Bob and Jillian or them. Oh. <laughs> this season, there are two new trainers. We'll choose either Bob and Jillian or them. This season, there are two new trainers. All you see is their silhouettes. 
You don't know who they are. You don't know who they could be. They could be past contestants. It's an unknown. <laughs> I mean, I'm standing there thinking, like, what, are you crazy? Bob and Jillian are the trainers. How can they have two new trainers? We thought we were on the biggest loser. But about apparently, it. this is pick your own trainer. Who's behind door number two? What is happening right now? Five teams will be training with them. And six teams will be training with Bob and Jillian. The only thing I think to myself is, you better fight your ass off to have Bob and Jillian. I don't want to be with these new trainers, but I have no idea who they are. If you decide to train with our new trainers, you get immunity for four weeks. Four weeks of immunity? Four weeks? That hasn't been done in the history of the show. So you can either pick Bob and Jillian and risk going home after one week. Or you can go with the end notes. But what you will know is that you're safe for four weeks. The choice is yours. But first, you have to win it. Here's how tonight's challenge is going to work. Each team has a manual treadmill. Together, as a team, you have to run a 5K. Uh, did I hear you right? Did you say 5K? A 5K? What are we doing? Are we running like five, 13 miles? I'm like, what is, what is a 5K? Just like the series of 5Ks that The Biggest Loser is hosting all over the country. This is my worst nightmare. I'd never been on a treadmill. I've never remembered walking over three miles or a 5K. In fact, I've, I've heard of 5Ks and thought, hmm, who's stupid enough to show up to one of those? <laughs> you can take turns however you want, but the order in which you finish will determine the order in which you choose your trainers. You know, all of a sudden you're realizing, OK, we might not be fighting to stay on the ranch, but we are fighting to pick our own destiny on the show. All right, teams. This is your first Biggest Loser Challenge. The winning team gets a chance to pick their trainers. Bob Jillian, I love you. But if I get the opportunity, I'm taking four weeks. On your mark. I've seen the show enough times to know that what you see is not always what you get. We turned around to look and see who's going to be our trainers. We didn't, we didn't see, actually anybody. see anybody. So we're afraid that's who will be training us. Maybe nobody. Maybe. I think we ought to just stick with the proven winner. You know, they know how to make you lose the weight. Yeah, but. It's four yeah. weeks. But do we want to go and chance that, or do we want to, you know, you're confident with your ability. Confidence is one thing, but smarts <laughs> is another. Get set. It's do or die time right now. We're going to do it. Go. Five kilometers as a team. The lights will turn green. Each line of lights is one kilometer. Let's break. About 50 right there. Come on. Our strategy tonight is to go out there and push it as hard as we can and tag out your partner and have him come on there. Tap, 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 tap. Because we know it's going to be a grind, but we think we can do it in the fastest time possible. I hear Rulin and Justin next to me, and they take off right out of the gate. And I'm thinking to myself, these guys are big, but they're going to run out of steam really, really quick. Yellow team, the first one to get to a kilometer. All I knew is I wanted to keep up with the yellow team. Great team is at one kilometer. I didn't want to lose too much ground. Don't give up, Kaylee. Aqua at 1K. All right, keep going, man. We hit 1K. The Aqua team in third place. Hell no. This Olympic gold medalist is not going to beat me. Need a little break? I look over at those really huge guys. Yeah, yeah baby. Come on. Woo! Monsters on that thing. And I'm sitting there thinking, we gotta switch more often or something, but we have to do something. There it is, yellow at 2K. First to 1K, first to 2K. Yeah, good job, guys. That's it, 2K for the gray team. Yeah, done. Aqua team at 2K, they are in third place. Just steady now. Don't overexert yourself. First five teams to finish are guaranteed a choice. Brown is at two kilometers. Yeah, baby. Brown in fourth yeah. place. That's it, green team. You're at two kilometers. That's it. You're doing great. Herp 
Beautiful, just hit two yes. kilometers. Yes. Yeah. Come, on. Come on. So we're in eighth place. I'm starting to panic. We have to finish in the top six. Yes, we have to. Or else our dream of coming here and training with Bob and Jillian, it might be taken away. We are 20 minutes into this challenge. Steady pace, Dad. Yellow team's at three kilometers. You are more than halfway there. 3K for the great team. You got it, Dad. That's a good pace. That's three kilometers for Aqua. You're in third place. You OK? Yeah. There's three kilometers for the brown team. We at 3K, baby. We at 3K. Kaylee taking that competitive drive and finding a way to run. Oh, Yellow team, that's four kilometers. You got one left. Come on, Ruth. Push her out, baby. Four kilometers, great team. Good job. Kaylee running again. As I'm watching Kaylee run through this, come on, Kaylee. Taking on the mighty yellow team. I kept telling Kaylee, we can win this. That's it, Ruth. Woo! Come on, baby. Deep down inside, I'm a competitor, and I haven't felt that blood rushing through my body for a few years. So I know that we can win, and I know we will not be beaten here tonight. You have less than a kilometer to go, yellow team. Great team. Yeah. You got it. Come on. Woo! Come on, Ruth. Push her out, baby. Great team. Yellow team. Who is going to win this challenge? Woo! Come on, baby. Awesome, Kaylee. I'm going to win this. Come on. Come on, we're four. We're four. That's it, yellow team. You have won. Five Woo! kilometers in four yes! minutes. Congratulations, yellow team. You have first choice. You get to choose your trainers. Knowing that I weigh 474 pounds, I know I still have the heart of a champion. I just have to find it again. Today was the first opportunity for me to see that light. Four slots left. Come on, come on. Congratulations, Woo! great team. We were up against some tough competitors. We fought for that choice, and that's what we wanted. We didn't want someone to take that choice from us. You got this, baby love. You got it. That's it, Aqua. You're done. Congratulations. Third place, baby. I'm so excited. And Bob and Jillian, we're coming for you, baby. We're ready for you. Remember, the first five teams to finish are guaranteed a choice. That's it, Jenny. That's it. Feel that run. Whenever I have an opportunity, to compete with somebody else, don't mess with me. I don't want to equate myself to the Hulk, but I turn into a completely different person. And I sure as hell wasn't going to let us be in fifth place. That is 5K for the green team. You are in fourth place. Ground team, that's five kilometers. Congratulations. Yeah. Purple team, you are done. We got sixth place. And that means Bob, Bob and Jillian. And Jillian. You're there. That's it, team. You completed this 5K. We are really hoping that there are a few teams ahead of us that will choose opposite of what we want. That's it. Red team. That's five kilometers. You are done. Orange team, you did. We got two teams left, the blue team and the black team. Just last week, I'm sitting on my couch. And now I'm here. It's hard to explain what 507 pounds is. I'm telling you, it's hard. Right. I'm ready, baby. But, you know, I'm doing it. This is the hardest thing I've done in the last 15 years. Right here. Come on. Right here. Come on. Come on, Daddy. I knew that we're not going to have a choice. Now it goes to we can't finish last. We are not going to finish last. Period. It's hurting, but he is not quitting. I don't know what the heck's going on here. I mean, the biggest guy here is outperforming us. And his 61-year-old father. And we're 54. That's it, 5K, blue team. Keep going, All right. Blue team, 10th place. Congratulations. Black team right behind you. Everyone has completed this 5K in under an hour. Good job, blue team. Good job, black team. Unfortunately, last place. That's all right. Finishing 11th and last place and 
We'd like to have all kinds of excuses about, well, we're 54, we're older, but they just ran faster than we did. Have you lined up in the order in which you completed tonight's challenge? Yellow team, you won, which means you have the choice of Bob and Jillian and one week worth of immunity. Or you can go with the unknowns and have four weeks of immunity. Yellow team, what have you decided? Have you lined up in the order in which you completed tonight's challenge? Yellow team, you won, which means you have the choice of Bob and Jillian and one week worth of immunity, or you can go with the unknowns and have four weeks of immunity. Yellow team, what have you decided? Well, there's no way we can pass up immunity. Oh, OK. So right off the bat, we have the yellow team going with the unknowns. Head on out. Go join the unknowns. Did we make the right decision? We have no idea what lies ahead of us. But you know what? As champions, as warriors, we're fighters, and we're going to come out fighting. Justin and Roland, you know, they, they won. So I figured they were going to choose Bob and Jillian because these guys are strong guys, and they're going to want the real deal. And they took the unknown trainers. It just felt really strange. Great team, you are next. As much as we love Bob and Jillian, to be able to guarantee ourselves four more weeks here, we're going to the unknown. Are, are really, you're going to give up Bob and Jillian for the four weeks of immunity? I mean, I get it. It's the golden ticket. But I was shocked. Right, Moses? Well, right now. It was a leap of faith for us, because even though you're guaranteed that four weeks of immunity, you still have to trust that the trainers, they're going to be just as good as Bob and Jillian. And we took that leap of faith. I gotta be honest, I was pretty shocked to see the first two teams go with the unknowns. I mean, immunity is the ultimate prize we have in this competition. But Bob and Jillian are all-stars. It must be a very difficult choice. It was a pretty difficult choice, but I came here in the middle of my weight loss journey to be challenged. And I know that Bob and Jillian will do that for me, so we're gonna stay with Bob and Jillian. Aqua, the first team to choose Bob and Jillian. Step right on up. Green team, you came in fourth place, but now you have a decision to make. It was tough, um, but for us, being here is like winning a lottery ticket. And we've been so inspired by what Jillian and Bob have done for so many people. We're in it for the long run. So if that means fighting for it, we'll do it. So Bob and Jill it is. That's Bob it. and Jillian it is. Come on over. Brown team. Bob and Jillian or the unknowns? Four weeks of immunity. It's too good to pass up. So we're going to go with the unknowns. This could possibly be the worst decision we've ever made in our lives. But you know what? We're about to find out what's happening. So, Purple Team, there are two spots left on the unknowns. How did you make your decision tonight? We came here wanting to get results and to make a big change. And so we know that that's guaranteed with Bob and Jillian. So we're going to stay with Bob what and Jillian. We're standing in line, and I'm seeing that quite a few people have chosen immunity, but quite a few people have chosen Bob and Jillian. There's still a chance to get immunity. There are two spots still remaining with the unknowns, guaranteeing you four weeks of immunity. 18. I don't know if you thought you'd be getting this decision coming in seventh place. Tell me what you decided. There are some really tough teams here, and we really need the four weeks. We want to be here for four weeks. Okay. At least. Good luck, pink team. Go join the unknowns. Okay. We're going into the unknown, but it's going to be an exciting unknown. I feel like we have an opportunity that no one else has had before. There are four teams on the unknowns. That leaves room for one more team to join them. Please, red team, pick Bob and Jillian so we have a choice. Red team. You can take the final spot in the unknowns, or if you choose Bob and Jillian, you are giving one more team that choice. Well, we fought long and hard, and we're gonna take that full week immunity and uh, take this thing home. All right, red team, good luck. You are the final team to join the unknowns. Orange team, blue team, 
black team. You are the three final teams to finish this challenge, which unfortunately for you means no matter what you had hoped for, the decision has been made for you. I needed four weeks immunity. It's scary to know that we can be eliminated next week. We need to work hard to try to stay here as long as we can so that neither one of us go home. Well, congratulations to the six of you. You will be here on campus training with Bob and Jillian, and it is up to you to tell them what happened. So good luck. Have a good night. <laughs> Get some sleep. You're going to need it. See you soon. How are you? Good. Hi, guys. Where is everyone? Well, the I'm problem is not everyone's here. So there was a challenge last night, and uh, Allison told us that we would have to choose which trainers that we were going to use. Then they showed a silhouette of two other trainers that are going to be on the show. God. And if you went with the unknowns, you got four weeks of immunity. That was Whoa. pretty scary, but you know, when we got our choice, we decided Aww. to stay with you. All I could think about was, what are these guys doing? That is the biggest prize anyone has ever gotten in Biggest Loser history. Four weeks of immunity. I mean, gosh, wouldn't you have gone? I mean, that makes me a little. That makes us nervous. Nervous. Makes, makes, their reaction freaked me out. I mean, they basically were like, "You're stupid for not taking four weeks of immunity." And the first thing I thought is. Oh, shoot. Four weeks of immunity. Well, we'll, we'll be immune because hard. we're going to be able to work hard. Right. That confident. sounds good. The Aqua team gave up a month of immunity to have us, and then the green team comes in and tells us the same thing, and then the purple team comes in and tells us the same thing. Now, if one of these guys go home in the next four weeks, we're going to feel terrible about it. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hey, hey. <laughs> we're in the house. What place did you guys make it? Not last. <laughs> Not last. <laughs> Black team, Don and Dan, how'd you do? We finished. We're, we finished. Um, we finished dead last. Yeah. Unfortunately, no matter how hard we work, in the next four weeks, we are going to be without four of you. So we have to make sure from here on out that you learn everything that we have to teach you. We're going to make sure that you're as prepped as possible. You are prepped and you are ready for anything. Okay, so now with that said, we have our first workout to do. Though. Yes, we do. Everyone hop on treadmill. Day one workout, ladies and gentlemen. Day one workout. Okay, now, I personally am trying something new. I need your help with this, okay? okay. Yep. What? I don't want to yell. Oh, God. I can't force you to do it. So if I ask you to do something, do it. Not because I yelled, because I said so. I love the fact that Jillian always comes in in the beginning of every season. She's like, I'm not going to yell at anybody this season. I'm not going to yell. Oh, OK. Let's see how long that lasts. Bend your knees, pick it up, and do it again. <laughs> Bend your knees, pick it up, and do it again. Asking Jillian not to scream is like asking the grass not to grow. Every time you bitch and moan, it just makes me hungry for your blood. The fish not to swim. Go! <laughs> Do it! <laughs> the lions not to roar. Louder! <laughs> I'm gonna be in your face every day! Every day like this! Yes. Jillian's always gonna yell at people. And pick up speed. Let's go! Hurry up! Ten, nine. I am very nervous. I had never been on a treadmill up until we had our first challenge. And I have bad arthritis in my knees. And so I'm just concerned, thinking, how am I going to get through this? Oh, I got it. Arthur, don't make me lose my mind today. I need to see your legs walking on that treadmill. Do not get off the treadmill, please. Arthur's going to need a lot of attention because, I mean, he's practically 80% body fat. That's, that's crazy. Get up, get up, get up. Seven, six, stand up. Five, stand up. You're not stuck. Four. It's daunting. It's, it gets frustrating sometimes to know that, wow, I got so far to go. Where are you going, Arthur? I'm going nowhere. I'm just, I'm moving. I have to lose 300 pounds. That's the entire weight of my father. One day at a time, my son, one day at a time. That's all we got. Fire! Three! <laughs> Two more, go! Whip! 
Down and around, fast. The reason why we didn't want to go with the unknown trainers is because Bob and Jillian have a proven track record. Rip it! Good, there we go. Nice. And we're here to put our time in and do anything possible to change our lives. I would have wanted anything in the world. Then engage. Get up. Now. Good. Now pull, one arm at a time. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in. I don't care how long it takes me and how hard I have to fight. I'm doing this. Yes! Lost 120 pounds and still the biggest girl in the house, huh? Yeah. That's a good kind of pressure to have. It's going to make you work a lot harder, isn't it? It is. It's a challenge. I think Courtney's a machine. Good. That's it. Up. 15 of them. One. Two. Come on, Courtney. Eight. This girl keeps going and pushing. That's it. Everything that I asked, she was doing. Good. Courtney could go all the way if she really put her mind to it. Six, oh, day one. Who are you? There's some really strong people here, and I want them to know that they can do it, too, because if the biggest girl in the house can do it, then you can do it, too. Three, two, and one. Ah! You checked out on me? No, ma'am. Do it! Ah! Rip it! Let me see agony! Ah! Yeah! Bob and I can't save everybody from going home this week, but we can try to help save them from morbid obesity. And in order to do that, we need to just kill them in that gym. Let's get your head up. There you go. Drop a buckle. Okay. There you go. Don, you okay? You need to sit down? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> People are puking and feigning and falling off the treadmill. Turn this treadmill off. Good. There you go. There you go. It's just ridiculous. Turn it aside. Go ahead. Go ahead. You feel better then? Huh? I got you here. Intense, especially from a couch potato and someone that's never really been to a gym. So I knew it was going to be tough. Down and lift. Down and lift. Let's go. In my 27 years in the club industry, I have never seen a workout as tough as this workout. Harder, Dan! Uh, Punch! Uh, it just kept going on. Uh, Head on. Uh, Head on. Uh, Head on. Uh, I just can't imagine that two unknown trainers could, could measure up to Bob and Jilly. Uh, Welcome to the party, Dan. Dan just showed up to the party. one of the new trainers this season on The Biggest Loser. Bob and Jay, I give all the credit to those guys. You got a new crop of trainers that are qualified, ready to kick some ass this year. I think what sets me apart is I have a pre-med science background, and training is a science. Pick up the pace, come on. Let's go, guys. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. One, two. I'm a boxer. I've been boxing for 10 years. I won the Golden Gloves twice. Down and up. Let's go! I've overcome a lot of adversity, and I found boxing as a way to tackle my problems. And I'm here to teach these people how to fight. Obviously, they gave up the fight at some point, and I'm here to bring it back. Again! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! You want to fight? Let's go! One, two, twenty! I want them to know from the get-go that we're here to fight. We are not here to play. You're here to prove yourself to me. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! I mean, I've heard all the excuses in the world. That that means nothing to me. Fight through it. I don't care. Suck it up. How bad do you want it? It's day one. I've been ready. This is what I do day in and day out. I'm one of the most qualified and best trainers in the country. How bad do you want it? I'm not about getting a quick Band-Aid fix. I'm about getting these people to lose weight and keep it off for the rest of their life. Let's go. It doesn't come easy. Go, 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 go. I want to beat records. I want to come out and crush. Go! My goal is to train the next biggest loser. I want it! Come on.
I need it. I need this so bad. There's nothing you can do to prepare for it. Nothing you can do to prepare for it. It's killing me. My body's shaking. They're good at what they do, and they, they beat us to the ground. All right? I do feel that I made the right decision to come and train with the unknowns. It was a wake-up call more than anything. I did not know that I was that out of shape. I just want to walk forward realizing that I made the right decision and recognizing this is exactly where I need to be. Full of exhaustion. I never worked this hard when I was trying to make the Olympic team. We came here to prove something. We didn't come here to escape for four weeks. We came here to push ourselves for four weeks. Of course you want to lay down. You weigh over 500 pounds. Stand up. Let me stick 500 pounds in you guys. Get up, Arthur. Get up. You feel this. Arthur, feel look this at me. Leg. Look at me. Look at me. Do I look like a woman that gives No, you know. Then get up. This workout, it's a reminder that you know, this is the shape I put myself in. You know, this is the damage I've done to my body. And it's painful, not only physically, but, you know, mentally, too. I need something for my leg, man. Yeah, I'm gonna give you something for your leg. It's called the treadmill. Enjoy. This group behind me is very unfit. But I can't move my leg. You're moving your leg right now. I mean, I'm used to having those, the ex-football players. I mean, I'm oh. like, where's... Stop! Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Arthur! <laughs> Nothing happened. Oh, he just yeah, stood man. up and then purposely fell down. My leg. Oh, if I have to hear about this leg one more time. I don't think you understand this. Are you kidding me? I don't understand. I've been here since season one. Dude, I know you more than you think. I need... You need what? Yeah, you need to lose some of this weight so you can move your body around. That was tough watching my boy, but you feel like you want to get off and run over there and help him, but he's got to experience what he's got to experience, and it's not a matter of helping him. It's a matter of denying him his growth. Oh! He's not hurt. He ain't gonna pass out. I, He's just... You're right. much... I'm not. My leg, I, I can't know. move my leg. I know, because you won't stand up. How am I gonna stand up if I can't move my leg? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll help you. Come you on. How, how much you do you weigh? That? Why don't you tell me again? How much do you weigh? Oh, man, you guys... I... How much do you weigh? It's not that I can't walk. No, you know? how much do you weigh? Okay. Can you... It's not, it's not hurting his back. No, no, walk with me. Come on, let's go outside. Let's just walk. So you lost how much? 150. 150 pounds. But look, look at this. There's a lot. We got a lot to. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. How far do you want to go? What do you want to learn from all this? Am I, I looking at the winner? Get myself back. What do you What do you want? I want to get myself back. How in the world did you get to be over 600 pounds? Like, what was it? I stopped moving. I know, but like, so what did, what did you, what was that conversation? I want to know what that conversation was that you had in your head. I was a good athlete, a real good athlete. Mm -hmm. All-American football player, great wrestler, even better baseball player, but I stopped moving. I got a desk job, lose my job, I gained 100, 200 pounds. I had a son, gained another 100 pounds. Then one day I wake up and they had uh, people on one of those specials on TV where they're cutting them out the house. Uh huh. The people were 400, 450, 500 pounds. Whew. I'm looking at myself. I'm 150 pounds bigger than some of these people. Uh -huh. I said a prayer because I can still move. I promised myself I'd do something. I've been doing it. <sighs> but it's hard. You know, it's like to lose 150 pounds and I still got to lose my dad. It's 300 pounds. I know, but we can't think about that right now. We can't think about that end game. We need to think about what we got to do today. Right? 
When it comes to Arthur, this guy's got to lose another 300 pounds. If he thinks about that, that could really mess with his head. We can't be thinking about, got to lose my dad, got to lose my dad. That's what you keep saying. Don't be thinking about, I got to lose my dad. Think about, all right, I got to do what Bob and Jillian say today. I just got today right now. All you need to think about right now is what you got to do today. Okay? No one's going to be cutting you out of no house. Right? That's right. It's very good to know that Bob has my back. You know, he's been through it before. He's seen the light at the end of the tunnel. And, and that's what I came for. So, yeah, it's really assuring to know that I got the best in the world. You're all right, Bob. <laughs> I don't care what they say about you. You're all right with me. <laughs> You're all right, too. Oh. Breathe when you're down there, people. Arms be shaking right now. Just when these guys think that the workout's winding down, I have a little surprise for them. And here's the hands. Uh-oh, I think Jillian's outside. Let's go. Come on, Jillian, we'll come back. I had them doing yoga, and then we hear this beeping. It's like, and I'm just thinking, oh, here we go. What? Ready? So we're walking down out of the gym, and all of a sudden we see this giant pickup truck. And I can only imagine what she's going to have us do. Welcome to the biggest loser. Let's go. Let's push. That's right. Welcome to the biggest loser workouts. We'll do anything. Yeah. Let's go. We got a long way to go. Look at us pushing a truck. Guys, can we go a little faster? Hey, Jillian. Yes? I think this is a good way to give the contestants a tour of the ramp. I do, too. This is just part of the biggest loser oh. workout. Well, you didn't think that you were just going to be working out in the gym. During this workout, I'm starting to feel a sense that I'm creating a new life for myself. You know, I am on the road to success. Oh, this is bad news. Push. Oh, it's got her. I really felt like having the biggest loser was a second chance for, for myself and for Olivia, too. So for us, for the purple team, it's going to be about moving forward and getting stronger, minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, step by step. Here it goes, people. Dig now. Dig. Come on, kids. Change your life. Let's go. Boys are there. I, I didn't think I could hold on to that stuff. You know, but no matter what my body says, I gotta keep pushing. I can do this. I can do this. I'm pushing a freaking truck right now, a mile. <laughs> this is a fun part of the job, Jillian. I know, this is a good time, I'm not gonna lie. Let's finish strong, you guys, one more. Everybody dig now, dig, dig, dig. This is it. Don't the finish line, I can see it. We're right there. Three, two, and one. You did it. Oh. To finish that, that was the first step to the rest of my life. Give yourself a big hand. That's right, Arthur. There has been a lot of conversation between ourselves about uh, the unknowns and what they're doing and where they're doing it. And we hope the other contestants are doing well, but we hope we're doing better. Exactly. Congratulations to all of you for making it through your first week on Biggest Loser Campus. But now it is time for you to face the scale. And if you haven't been nervous yet, you should be. Moments ago, we weighed in the other teams, and I have their results. The team that lost the most weight lost 59 pounds. I, I just want to just keep going. I'm ready to go again, ready to go again. I, want to, I don't want to see 300 anymore. I want to be done with it. Oh, my gosh. One player alone lost 41 pounds. Wow.
this number. I did it. He's watching you. That's a record for the most weight lost ever in one week on The Biggest Loser. Oh, my God. We haven't even stepped on the scale yet. And I'm thinking, oh, gosh, you know, I was just hoping for more than one. And somebody got up there and lost a kindergartner. I mean, it's more than a kindergartner. Like, I mean, kindergarten plus a bulldog. I, I mean, this mean, is a lot. So now it is time to see how you stack up. Aqua, we're starting it off with you. I have never lost more than six pounds in a week. And that was the very first week that I started my weight loss journey. So I'm really anxious to see what's gonna happen. Courtney, your starting weight was 323 pounds. Marcy, your starting weight was 238 pounds. Aqua Team, your current weight is. why we're here with Bob and Jillian because of of this number right here I was dying in that first workout I almost threw up but if you just push through it you can get through anything and you can lose 15 pounds in a week and I'm I'm so excited right now <laughs> Marcy so who do you think is cheering louder for you tonight in those 14 pounds your customers at the Dairy Queen or the clients at your gym definitely the clients at the gym are cheering for me louder thank you ladies good thank luck. you it took me almost a year to lose 100 pounds on my own, but I've already lost 15 pounds in one week at the ranch. So if, if this keeps up, I mean, I can't even imagine the things that I'm gonna be able to do here. Up next, the blue team. Arthur, Jesse, come on up. I know I struggled the very first workout, but I felt like I kind of turned a corner. And then when I had heard earlier that someone from the unknowns had lost 41 pounds, Maybe I'm going to put up a big number, too. So, you know, we should be safe to that. Arthur, your starting weight was 507 pounds. Jesse, your starting weight was 293 pounds. Gentlemen, you are the heaviest team we have on campus right now. In order to be safe from elimination right now, beat the Aqua team. You need to have lost more than 41 pounds. Gentlemen, your current weight is... I'm looking at that number seven, and the only thing that's running through my mind now is, is the disappointment that, you know, I've let my son down. I made a commitment that I'm not gonna leave anything in this gym ever again. Nothing. Leave it all out there. And I, I feel I did that this week. Thanks, Blue Team. All week I had been telling my dad that you know, you gotta watch what you eat. You gotta count it. You got, you know, you gotta measure right. And it's a habit that you're just not gonna break overnight. You know, it's all part of a learning process. Okay, blue team, you lost 38 pounds as a team for a total percentage of weight loss, 4.75 percent. Up next, we're weighing in the green team. Jen and Jay, come on up. Green team, in order to guarantee that you are here for at least one more week, you need to have lost more than 32 pounds. Your current weight is. Whoa. You know, when you do this, you, you can't hide. Jennifer has inspired me so much because when I see her and she's on the treadmill and she's running and she doesn't give up, and I have to be honest, I give up quicker than she does because I'm older and I started thinking I'm older and I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm as young as anybody else and I'm strong and I'm going to be much more powerful. Thank you, Jen. Love you. Love you too. Good job, Green Team. Thank you. Thank you. Based on the numbers that we pulled on the scale this week, I am extremely confident to say that we made the right choice. You know, this is why we're here. 
We trained with Bob and Jillian this week and look at the results. Green team is off to a great start. They lost 46 pounds their first week on campus for a total percentage of weight loss of 6.78%. Up next, we're gonna weigh in the purple team. For the two of us, this weigh-in means everything. Nobody wants to go home week one. At home, if it's a great week, we lose a pound. And so we don't know what's gonna happen. Purple team, in order to guarantee that you are here for one more week, you need to have lost more than 24 pounds. Your current weight is. Purple team, in order to guarantee that you are here for one more week, you need to have lost more than 24 pounds. Your current weight is. Amazing. Bob and Jillian have so made the right decision. Standing here, Bob and Jill all the way. Good job, purple team. Thank you. Oh my gosh, the feeling that I'm feeling right now about losing 16 pounds oh. in amount. Oh. That is a competitive number. And we are the smallest team here, but I thought, you know what, 16 pound each, that is not shabby. And that just shows that we're here to actually Twerk. compete. Purple team, congratulations, you lost 32 pounds your first week on campus. For a total percentage of weight loss, 6.29%. <laughs> up next, we are weighing in the orange team. Ladies, come on up. I'm very concerned because I passed out the first workout that we had. But I know that from the time I walked into that gym the first time to today, I've improved. So I just hope that it's good enough to stay above the yellow line. Ladies, in order to beat the blue team, Guarantee that you are above that yellow line right now and here for one more week. You need to have lost more than 24 pounds as a team. Your current weight is. All I know is it was a challenging week. I'd never worked out in a gym and was the first one to faint at the first, <laughs> the first uh, workout, but I came back and I'd been trying to push through it and I'm getting stronger and wish you were a little bit more weight, you know, to keep our team here. But I know that I was getting stronger every day and giving it the best I could. And I mean, I thought Anna did fantastic this week. And I knew what the kind of pain she was in. And she just kept going. And she just had that smile on her face. Even when she was, like, on the ground, you did a fantastic job. And you should feel very accomplished with what you did this week. Thank you. Our only saving grace is if black team didn't do as well. And they really struggle, too, especially Don. Orange team, you lost 22 pounds as a team for a total percentage of weight loss of 4.31%. So congratulations, blue team. You are definitely here for one more week. You are safe. Orange team, we have one team left to weigh in. So either you or Dan and Don will fall below the yellow line and be up for elimination tonight. One person is going home. Black team. Come on up. We are concerned because our performance, although our efforts been 100%, our results have been a little bit dismal. First challenge, we ended up coming in last place, and then the workout the next day was so brutal. But needless to say, we need something good to happen. If you lose more than 25 pounds, you are guaranteed at least one more week here on campus. Gentlemen, your current weight is.
Something good happened. Oh, something great happened. This is more than we could have possibly expected. And we just can't tell you how grateful we are to all of you. <laughs> my wife will cry when she hears these numbers. And I know my son's going to believe that this is what he needed. He did it all for me. That's very important. <clears throat> Black team, you lost 40 pounds in your first week on campus for a total percentage of weight loss of 6.71%. Congratulations, black team. That's good enough for second place. And while no one from the unknowns will be going home tonight, orange team, sorry to tell you that you have fallen below the yellow line. You are up for elimination tonight. Part of me was happy for them. And then, you know, reality sets in. We're the ones that have to be eliminated. It's very disappointing, you know, and that's when I was feeling like I didn't do enough to keep us in the game. And it will be up to the rest of you to vote to send one of them home. It's time to say goodnight, Bob and Jillian. All right, teams, you have one hour. I will meet you in the elimination room after that. I know it's gonna be a very difficult decision Good luck, guys. Coming up, the biggest loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The biggest loser club is changing lives. I know that one week is not enough but I want my daughter to stay because I know she could last longer and learn more. I think my mom needs it more for her health. And she needs this more than I do. Tonight you had a very difficult decision to make. Tonight you had to decide between a mother and daughter, Irene and Anna. We're gonna go around the room and each of you will reveal who you voted for as a team. Marcy, we're going to start with you. Courtney and I talked a lot about this because we certainly can relate to you, too. And um, Courtney shared with me the other side, and I know that she talked about how much Irene really wants this for her mom and for her mom to be here. But um, when it came down to it, a mom's love is unconditional. We're going to be here for you. So our vote was to send Anna home. Anna, that's one vote for you. Jen, Jay, how did you decide? I know how important it is to respect the wishes of a parent. And that is why we decided to send Anna home. All right, Anna, that's two votes. If you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. Purple team. Olivia and I went back and forth and back and forth. How can we choose a mother who needs physical help? And Irene asked us, she said, please, my mother needs help. <laughs> and so we chose Irene. Irene, that's one vote for you. Anna, you have two votes. If you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. Blue team. I think bottom line, it came down to what would actually be best for you two. And Irene has spoken with me directly. She made it clear that if it came down to this, she wanted you here. With all that said, we're still fathers. So the blue team, we voted for Anna. I love you with all, all my heart and all my breath. But I promise that I'm going to go home and take care of myself and seek help and support because I do want to be healthy. Well, just know that I'm supporting you even though I'm not there with you physically. 
I am your biggest fan, so. Oh, I know that, baby. <laughs> I'm here to represent Orange. <laughs> All right, Anna. That's three votes. I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. And it's time for you to say goodbye. When I first started with The Biggest Loser, I weighed 255 pounds. Today, I weigh 205 pounds. I've lost a total of 50 pounds. I've been with the Postal Service for 30 years. And the last few years, the weight kept me from being able to carry mail. And now, because of The Biggest Loser, I can work my eight, 10-hour days and not be in pain. This has given me the motivation to take charge and make my life different. I'm single, and I haven't been out on one date in nine years because I didn't feel comfortable. Now, between work and my social life, I'm trying to find new ways to burn calories, and dancing is definitely one of them. But I especially love salsa. I've got the energy and the desire to go out and dance again because I just love it, and you never know who I'll meet. I promise that I'm going to go home and take care of myself and seek help and support. I'm doing it for Irene. I promised her that and I want to live long life as I could see her grow up and get married. And I don't want my daughter to be alone. The Biggest Loser has given me the chance and the encouragement and the motivation to take control and charge of my life so that I can actually start living it and enjoying my life. The real loser is the one who misses next week's all-new Biggest Loser. Take a look. The unknowns didn't just beat you. They destroyed you. Tonight, if you beat the unknowns on the scale, you will all be safe one more week. Go! Think about all those friends and family that are supporting you right now. Who's it for? Me! Yeah! I got big dreams for you. You're not going to give up. What they lack in strength, they have in heart. Stop the beeping, just show me the numbers already.